people hating on you because of your jewelry is a real thing or people just hating on you in general let's talk about it yes, yes. Came to ball, fresh from the ball, back to the wall with my hands up my... all right guys so yo i'm getting really tired of the hate my whole life i've had haters and i never thought it was because people were hating on me but I'm starting to remember I was a star before I was doing a lot of things that normally people don't do so I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of stories or what's on my right mind right now I'm just gonna vent a little bit cuz yo I'm getting tired of the hate I'm not gonna say no names but I'll go on live on somebody else's YouTube panel I'm not gonna say their names and the people in there will hate on me. I'll be telling them stories about my jewelry and women. And the guys that are in the panel will be like, you're lying. I don't believe you. You. And these are the guys that don't have any jewelry or any clout talking like this. And I know for a fact, I know myself. I know what I've been through. I know I've been a lot of places. So I have a lot of confidence. But since starting the internet thing, I'm seeing these guys talk down on me and talk a lot of shit, right? And I'm like, wait a second. I'm starting to second think myself because I know I'm the shit. And these guys are here making fun of me. I'm like, this never happened to me in my life. I'm the shit. Where I'm from, like, I get shit popping. And I forgot about haters. I get so much respect on a daily that I forget that there's people out there who don't know you and will just hate on you. And it's happened all my life now that I think about it. Like, I go to a neighborhood that I'm not from and I look good, I look fly, got my jewelry on and people will just hate on you. Like, even when it comes to women, like, I don't look like a big, buff, strong guy. I'm not six feet tall, right? But I've noticed while dating, like, especially black guys or people in the urban community, they'll see me with a beautiful girl and I didn't know they were doing this, but they'd be talking behind my back, be like, yo, how did this little shrimp, this ugly guy get that girl? And they would scheme on, on me. They'll try to get the girl behind my back. They'll be like, yo, screw that guy. Yo, I'm a better guy. The girl's telling me that's what these guys are, are doing behind my back. And they don't even know. And I could have set them up like that. I could have used that girl to set them up, but I'm not on that ish no more. You know what I mean? But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm well-respected, well-connected. You should know my swag already to not even try that to go behind my back to go talk to my girl because I'm guessing, like, people are just haters. They see you doing good. They want what you have, and especially on the Internet, man. I'm going on these lives, and I'm seeing these people. It's like, you got to go out your way to say shit, to prove to them stuff, and that's not even worth it, like... From now on, like, if you don't believe what I say or like what I'm teaching you, too bad. Like, I have a lot of experience. I've been through a lot of stuff. I've taught a lot of people a lot of things with my knowledge with jewelry or just life and game and stuff like that. But too bad for y'all. No, I mean, I'm not going to entertain that no more. Matter of fact, I don't even think I'm going to go on live anymore because of all the trolling on the internet. But, like... Let me show you another example of the hate. Um, look at my friend. Check this out. So, there long time ago, there was this beautiful girl at a bar, right? Everybody in the neighborhood wanted that girl at the bar, right? I never knew that. And I haven't been to the hood in a long time, so I went to go check my friends in the hood, right? And they're like, yo, come to the bar. That's the chill spot right now. So there's like 30 people in the bar, all men from the hood, you know what I mean? And you know me, I started spitting my game talking to the bartender. I didn't know that like in the bar, everybody, all the men were getting mad that I was talking to the bartender because they all wanted her. I won't lie, she looked very pretty. So I started talking to her, spitting my game. And you know what, I'll just tell you guys what I did to get her kind of thing. So guys were talking to her right and they were saying bad stuff about women they're like yo i would never talk to a girl that has kids and then i'm like 
hey man, you need to grow up and mature. Just because a woman has kids doesn't mean she doesn't have much to offer. And these guys kept dissing women and I kept like being like a simp, like catering to women and she liked that. Cause I seen that in her. So anyways, I ended up taking her home that night. You know what I mean? She ended, like we ended up on the dance floor, like she was done her shift. So she ended up on a dance floor. She ended up dancing and I'm a great dancer. I ended up busting my moves and she was feeling my style and I took her home. Check this out. This guy's not my friend anymore. So I took her home and I did my thing. Went to pound town, laid it down, right? And I get a text from my friend. He's like, yo, yo, did you smash that girl? I'm like, yo, it's none of your business. He's like, yo, stop being a punk. Yo, did you, did you, did you? I'm like, yeah, I did still, but don't tell anybody. Then he's like, yo, you're lying, you're lying. You can't get it, you can't get it, you're lying. I'm like, I got it. He's like, show proof, show proof. I'm not going to respect you no more. You're my friend, just show proof. So I took a picture of her on my bed. I shouldn't have done this. I took a picture of her on my bed, right? And I told my boy, here's the proof. Tell me how my boy takes that pictures and like sends it to everybody in the hood that was at the bar so now the next day the girl gets mad at me yo you sent freaking nudes uh, not nudes she was she wasn't like na naked naked but she had her shirt off you know what i mean and her tattoo was showing and whatnot so she got mad at me yo you're sending stuff i'm gonna sue you blah 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 i'm like damn i got so pissed off at my boy I never really talked to him again, but he said that, yo, the reason why I asked you to send it is because mans in the hood were talking smack that you went home with it and they didn't believe you could really pull it or do anything. And I'm like, what? Why are these guys politicking on my, on my game on what I'm doing? You know what I mean? But I'll never do that again. Well, but there's just so much hate, like, like there's just so much hate that I've gotten over the years. And me being a confident and boasty person, I'm used to getting so much respect. But when I'm out of my neighborhood, out of my element, people who don't know me would talk smack. And I'd be like, do you know who I am, son? Do you know the things that I've done? And it's like you got to start over that whole respect thing. And people are just trolling and, and haters. Like, I'm really tired of it. Me personally, it gets really tiring dealing with you guys. So from now on, screw you guys. I'm going to block you if you troll me on my channel. From now on, no more tolerance. You guys are trying to bring down my image and I see what it is. And I mean, and some of you are mad about my fast rise on YouTube. I'm not even that much subscribers in. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, I'm signing out, y'all. Early.